Or what if I told you, um, and and I could bring witnesses to this. Uh, we were we were in my apartment, and I lived above the bar. I wasn't uh, living for Christ. Uh, we were horsing around upstairs, me, my brother, our best friend, and our girlfriends. And uh, we were all into martial arts. And my brother broke my hand. He broke it in front of five other people there. Now, do I know that it was not just dislocated? It was actually broken. I know it. Um, uh, if you can see this portion of my hand, it was broke right here in the middle between the knuckle and the wrist. Uh, two bones were broken. The middle finger bone and the, uh, the the ring finger right beside it. And my brother was going to run me to the hospital, but something weird was happening, and I couldn't explain what it was. But I was, it was weird. That's all I can ex Weird feelings, weird vibes. And then all of a sudden, I just extended my hand and told him I wasn't going to the hospital. And, I, you know, you can't flex a broken hand. But I began to flex it slightly, slightly, and I just kept working with it until finally I could almost close it. And then, boom, when I closed it, those bones popped back into place. I mean, right in front of us. And we had moved those bones around underneath the skin. They were legitimately busted right in the middle of the bone. We moved them around, but they popped back together right in front of all six of us. And as I kept flexing, God is my witness, this is the truth. The instant bruise and swelling that popped up there, making my hand double its size instantly, at black, blue, yellow, green, brother, as I flexed my hand, it diminished and it dissipated and it completely disappeared and my, my hand was completely normal. And that took place within a minute. Sorry, are and, you saying you set of, your hand? What's that? You're saying you set your hand? I'm saying God healed my hand, but this is the this is the clincher. Not only did God heal my hand, God spoke to me, and nobody else in that room heard it. I heard it audibly, but the people in the room didn't hear it. What he said was, if you don't give me the glory for this, you're going to die. And some people have said, well, what a hell of a threat for God to make. And that wasn't a threat. That was a warning. Because what happened was my brother asked me if I could heal his knee. And I told him, what you just saw was the power of God. I did not do that. 